right now. An arrest has been made after a baby was taken along with a car stolen yesterday. News of the arrest coming in about an hour ago. Officers saying surveillance led them to crack this case. Local 10 News reporter Ian Margle is in Fort Lauderdale with all the details. So this entire ordeal actually only lasted about 30 minutes, but you have to imagine for this father just how long it felt like. And the good news is this morning that suspect is in custody. What were you doing when it happened? Losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Losing my mind going crazy. Minutes after one of the scariest moments of his life, Jonathan Rabb was feeling relieved on Wednesday afternoon. About an hour before he spoke with us, his one-year-old daughter Soraya had been sleeping in the back seat of his Toyota Avalon when the car was stolen. All I wanted was my daughter back. That's it. That's all I can think about was getting her back in my arms safe. Rab tells us he had gone to a friend's house in Fort Lauderdale to get juice for Soraya and realized she was asleep. So not wanting to wake her, he left the car running and went inside, thinking it would only take a few minutes. But when he came back outside, all he found was this bicycle and no car. Rab called the cops, who immediately started to search the area, finally finding the car in this church parking lot at Northwest 24th Avenue and 20th Street. Surveillance cameras caught the suspect running away from the area, and when detectives got there, they found Soraya still sleeping in the back seat. Go to my knees and thank God, because there wasn't nobody but him, because that man could have crashed my car, my daughter could have been, anything could have happened to her. This morning, police tell us that Terrence Thorpe Jr., he's only 16 years old, he was turned in last night after someone recognized him from the pictures shown on the news. Thorpe is now facing charges for grand theft and desertion of a child. In Fort Lauderdale, Ian Margle, Local 10 News.